we're going to do a delve into this kind of uh, stuff, but with uh, Israel being threatened and with all the stuff I've been seeing on the media, I got to go ahead and just call it like I see it. First of all, I am an independent voter. I've voted for Democrat, for independent candidates, for Republicans my entire life. Don't follow any political party. Don't follow any political ideology. I am a born again, staunch Christian. And many uh, don't like me. The left hates me as a born again evangelical. But here's the thing. Uh, unless you have an IQ that's higher than mine, mine is 176, by the way. Unless yours is higher than mine, stay out of the discussion. And uh, I give God all glory for my high IQ. I didn't earn it or deserve it. But I put this disclaimer out whenever I uh, have to challenge the left, because the left tries to act like they're so smart, and they try to act like anyone who doesn't believe with them, uh, side with them 100%, is ignorant. Can't lay that that uh, jive on me, that j -j -j jive talking, telling me lies. So media bias hurting to the left. Um, this is what got me going on this video. Louis Farrakhan, uh, probably the biggest racist in the history of the world, even a bigger racist than Adolf Hitler, in my humble opinion. Uh, racist against whites, racist against Jews, racist against anyone except blacks. He just called the Jewish race a bunch of termites. And he's called them much worse than that in the past. And yet social media embraces him. The mainstream or the lamestream media, as I call it, embraces him. But yet you got a guy like Alex Jones, and don't get me wrong, and also someone like Eric Holder, who is the former attorney general, supposed to be the, the main lawman in the world under uh, Barack Hussein Obama, uh, came out and was uh, threatening uh, anyone who's against his views, mainly Republicans. And so anyways, let's go to Alex Jones. Now, I'm not any fan of Alex Jones by any means whatsoever. To me, Alex Jones is nothing but a conspiracy theorist. He's a blowhard. He's a buffoon. He's a fake Christian. And I have no respect for the man at all. But here's my problem. This is the problem that I have. He comes out and puts out all the stuff that he puts out, and he's protected under free speech. But yet someone like Farrakhan, who brings out hate speech and racism, which is not protected under free speech, they get... They embrace him. Now, 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 here we go. I'm waiting to hear, waiting to hear the, the far left come at me and say, well, you know, Paul, um, the Constitution doesn't apply to social media and to the mainstream media. I'm aware of how people assume, how people believe things are, how they actually may be. But I also understand common sense. I understand common etiquette. I understand common civility. I understand common decency and goodness. The left doesn't have it. The left is a biased, uh, borderlining on criminally insane horde, violent horde in this once great nation of America. And I've proven it over and over again. I'm not just saying it, that's my opinion. And I'm, and I'm entitled to my opinion. And my opinion is backed by things that I have proven in the past over and over and over again. See, if you're a true born again Christian and you're against abortion, if you're against any type of marriage other than heterosexual, traditional biblical marriage, if you're against uh, anything that is traditional in the Bible, you are hated by the left nowadays. They want to eradicate true biblical Christians like me from the face of the earth. And see, there are very few true Christians anymore. Many Christians claim to be. Many huge mainstream Christians that are popular claim to be, but they're not. Their fruit is rotten to the core. They, they bear no good fruit. In other words, they are not Christians. And the media continues. They've persecuted me. They've banned me so many times on YouTube and on Facebook, and on Twitter, and on Daily Motion, I've been banned constantly for my Christian beliefs. They hate my guts. But you know what, though? I love them because Jesus Christ loves them. I, f I follow in Jesus Christ's footsteps. I have no, no hatred or animosity towards the left. I pity them. I weep for them. They are actually intellectual midgets. They believe they're so bright. They have the intelligence of a rotting rutabaga, as far as I'm concerned. They have no clue. They have no common sense. They have no integrity. That's what I believe. That's what I teach. And, and who knows, this video may be yanked, it may be, it may be deleted, banned. I, I, I've, I've had, had it happen to me so many times, but I can't sit still anymore and let the Jewish people be lambasted by, by people like Farrakhan. When, and then when someone like Alex Jones uh, is banned from everything, and he's constantly in the news, how much they hate his guts, and, and if, if he's on Twitter at all or any social media, they're, they're out there trying to get him. And to me... Even though he's, he's messed up and all the stuff he does is just like supermarket tabloids, 
He's not bringing hate speech. He's not bringing racism like all these people on the left are. They're embracing all these talk show hosts, all these of uh, all these different uh, news stations, all the all this crew that are biased and they're hurting all of these simpletons. All their sycophants are with them, being herded to the far left. Here's the bottom line. I'm not going to be in this world much longer. I'm going to be out of here soon. All the signs of the imminent rapture, Jesus Christ taking his bride out of here are imminent. And be careful what you ask for, left. You just might get it. And you are going to get it in this case, because true Christians like me are going to be gone. You have the whole world to yourself. But wait, there's more, like the old infomercials say. Then you'll be here for seven years of pure hell, where Satan, the Antichrist, and false prophet, Reign hell on the earth. God reigns holy judgment on the earth. If God didn't intervene, no flesh would even remain alive as it is. Billions would be almost every human being, the vast majority, will die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific death known to mankind. 100 pound hailstones falling out of the sky, crushing and killing. The sun's so hot it'll burn you to death and make you wish you were dead. Poisonous demonic insects stinging you for months at a time. You want to die and you can't. Billions dying from horrible plague and pestilence and disease. Billions dying from an army, hoarding army, marauding. And just slaughtering. Billions dying from an asteroid or heavenly body hitting the earth. It'll be horrendous beyond your wildest nightmare. There's a, there's a way out of it though, my friends. Jesus Christ is the way. He's your only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. I challenge every person. If you're on the left, right, center, I don't care where you are. Share this video with everybody you possibly know because this word has to get out. People have to understand what's going on and stand up for it and have a backbone. I've stood up for it my whole time on social media, 10 years. I'll always stand up for it. This time, I'm giving it a platform with my large YouTube channel. May God bless you all. Share this video and get ready, Christians. We're out of here soon. Bye.